Welcome to Tech Tips with me. As a disclaimer, this isn't really like a general tech tip. This is literally just for a specific laptop. So if you don't have this and you don't care to just like sit here and listen to me, it's probably not a video for you. Okay, if you are here because you searched for this video, then you are familiar with the Swift 3 Acer. Uh, very new laptop. I believe this is a 2020 model and I got the operating system installed. That might not be like a super huge feat or sound like a super huge feat, but it was. And if you're here, <laughs> you know why. <laughs> I have literally tried to install this operating system so many different ways. We switched her solid state drive because this one failed. So I even went as far as taking the new solid state, putting it in this HP, installing Windows 10 on that, and then transferring it into this. Even then, still no boot. Hello. So when you're booting up this thing, right, you know how you've been hitting F2 a million times, and you know, try and hit F12, and nothing's working anyway. Uh, so over here in main, you just wanna really enable your F12 boot menu here. And then you're gonna come over here to security and you're gonna need to set a supervisor password. I just set mine as one. Um, honestly, I need to unset this password now. But once you set your supervisor password, you are going to disable the change TPM state. Once you disable that, your computer is gonna come back on just like normal. And I'll even show you. I'll go a step further and break it just to fix it. <laughs> but it's coming on just like normal. Gotta love it. It doesn't matter if you're using a custom Rufus made USB or if you're using straight up Windows 10 from the media creation tool. This will never boot ever. I don't know why. I don't know what happened with this Acer, but it won't. Power on, get into BIOS. Once you're in BIOS, you're enabling your F12 boot menu as well as setting a supervisor password. Once you do that, you will be disabling the change TPM state. You also will want to disable secure boot. If it works, try to turn it on afterwards. If you want secure boot, if it doesn't boot with secure boot enabled, it's not that big of a deal, just leave it disabled. So we're gonna have change TPF state disabled, and you can even, in the same instance, turn off your supervisor password, so you don't have to even worry about that. We're gonna go ahead and exit saving changes, and voila, you're gonna have a working Acer Swift 3. I literally spent probably two hours of my day figuring this one out. I hope this helps somebody.